Welcome everybody to another Evoto tutorial video. This one's specifically dealing with the new AI crop function. As you can see on the bottom of my screen, I have a grouping of photos selected. Each photo is a little bit different proportion. You can see I have some full length, I have some three quarters, I have some half size, I have some random proportions. I'm going to start with this image here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the crop on the right, or you can press C. Now, once you're in this crop section, go to crop, the drop down, and on the bottom is the new AI headshot crop. Now, there's different presets already set here. What I like to do is I'm going to select one, a five by seven, and I can adjust to my tastes. What I want you to notice is the area above the head. That's also reflected in here as top margin, head size, horizontal face position. You can also set your own crop preset. For now, we're just gonna stick with this one. I'm gonna say, okay, this image is now cropped. Now what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to your sync settings. You wanna turn off everything except for the one on the bottom, which is your crop and rotate. And you're gonna hit save. There are multiple ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you another one after this. Now, once you have that saved, I want you to select all the photos on the bottom here. Just highlight them all. But make sure you go back to the one that you did the crop on. And you're simply gonna hit the sync button. And out here, you can see all the images are processing. Now, if we go through those images again, they're all synced, they're all cropped the same. Now, let me show you another way to do this. So in order to show you another way to do this, I'm actually gonna reset the crop. Just do the reverse of what we just did. Select the crop. We're gonna reset the crop. Hit okay. All the images are still selected and I'm gonna sync the crop to all the other images. This is just in case you have to do this. Now all the other images are back where they were to begin with. So now let me show you the second way to do this. Let's start with this image again. Back to the AI crop. Do what we did before. I personally find this a little bit easier than the other way. I'm gonna hit okay. Now while I'm on this image, just going to go to edit up top and I'm going to copy. And again, make sure crop and rotate is selected. I'm going to select all the images here and I'm not going to hit the sync button. I'm just going to edit and I'm going to paste. The reason I prefer this method is if you select all these images, you always end up highlighting the last image and you might accidentally hit the sync button and it doesn't crop them all properly because it's on this last image. It'll actually remove the crop if you already have one. So again, you can see all the images cropped again. I do want to point out, and this has happened a couple times with different people, if somebody has a little higher hair on the top, I guess Evoto is noticing the difference between here and the top of the photo. Like everyone else, the hair, look at the hair and the top of the photo, the hair and the top of the photo. It does seem to shift it down a little bit but it's actually really good. So now I wanna show you something else. I'm gonna leave this where it is. Again, we're gonna start with this image. We can also rotate the crop. And look what happens here. If I go ahead and again, copy. All the images are already selected, but just let's pretend and let's just do it again. So like I said, when you select them all, you will end up on this last one. 
where we're just pasting now the preset. Watch what happens to all the images. They're processing. So you can rotate as well. Let's do this one more time so I can show you something else. I'm going to reset this crop, reset the rotate. And this time I'm going to crop just above the eyes. Something I want you to keep in mind, this is an AI headshot cropping feature. So if for some reason it can't see the head, can't see the face, watch what happens. You get a warning, unable to locate face, and it jumps back to the face. Again, even if I go lower on the eyes, it might jump it up. So make sure you're aware of that when you're cropping. And even if you're not, Evoto is going to warn you and put this back where it is. So here, as you can see, now I'm going to go, instead of over the head, I'm going to go right in the middle of the forehead here. And make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to say, okay. Once again, I'm going to do edit, copy. I also want you to notice this pop-up frequency setting. I have it set to always trigger for this video, but you can set it to launch setting pop-ups after first syncs in project. So if I did that, it won't show up every time. It would just be on the crop because that's what I had set it to. Here I'm going to say, okay. And again, edit. I'm going to paste this to all the photos. They're processing. Some of the images, this one in particular, a little bit higher than the others. But most of them are cropped pretty much the same. So that's it. That's your tutorial on AI cropping with Evoto. Enjoy using it. I'm sure it'll speed many of your workflows up, especially those that do headshots for realtors. I do personally realtors, architects, doctors' offices, lawyer offices, and I do multiple employees. And sometimes this actually will be a big help to me. So get out there again, take some amazing pictures, and enjoy your time with Evoto. <music>